NBC San Diego News at 5. They do it with oranges and pears. How about a gourmet box of avocados? I'm Consumer Bob. I'll tell you what it's all about. Coming up in just a few minutes. These are tough times on the farm. High water prices are forcing some avocado farmers in the county to consider shutting down. That's why farmers are looking for some new ways to do business. NBC San Diego's Consumer Bob says that means looking for alternative ways to sell their crops. And if you're a young farmer, where do you look? You look online and you'll see how this works here. You know, companies like Harry and David have made it big over the years sending fresh fruit through the mail. So why not avocados? That's what some local farmers are trying to do. It's coming full circle now. People are interested where their food comes from, knowing the face behind the food, and you, that's something that they can't necessarily get when they pick it up out of the grocery store. They don't know which farm. I'm extremely that's Ben Holt, a fourth generation avocado farmer up in Escondido. Besides sending his avocados to grocery stores around the country, this 27-year-old farmer also offers a high-end gift box mailed directly from his farm to consumers around the country. Not only that, but Ben helps pick the avocados that go into the box. Each one has to be perfect. No sunburn or blemishes. It's not going to touch a conveyor. It's not going to roll. It goes from my hand to the box. So why does Ben and some of the other farmers go through all this? For survival. And this is a way to go around the middleman. Ben's company is called CaliforniaAvocadosDirect.com. The avos are mailed the same day they're picked and take about a week to 10 days to ripen. The boxes run between $30 and $60. They even have a Facebook page. People share what they did with the avocados, pictures, that sort of thing. And it's catching on. They, that one that you brought in looked spectacular. Do they taste any better because it's fresh off the farm? Well, it is gorgeous. There's no question about it. But I don't know if it necessarily tastes better than what you find in the store, but they are beautiful. This is not something you do as much for taste as for a gift to someone out of town or someone who wants to know they're buying from an American farmer. This is funny, besides the avocado, Ben sends uh, customers pictures of him picking the avocados in the field. He goes out actually that day he picks and then emails the people who are getting the delivery a picture of him out picking the That's avocado. A nice touch. It, no, it is a nice it, touch. You know, and it's just another way to use social media you know, in your business. It's not a surprise that a 27-year-old farmer would be doing stuff like that. You can tweet, you can Facebook, whatever, to try to make that relationship between people out who are buying your product and you growing it and selling it. And pictures of your guacamole. Yes. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Bob. The sun is doing a fine job of ripening all those avocados oh, out there. Very good. Fritz in the forecast up next.